Okay, so here we are again. Uh, this time with Pokemon Nocturne. Third new game. Uh, let's go with Easy because I'm a coward. Just explaining that you'll get more uh, potions and stuff. Which I appreciate since that was my one complaint in uh, Nightfall. So as you can see, this is in German. There's no official English yet, but it's in the works. Uh, so like before, at the beginning of Nightfall, the game will be in German and I'll just be reading it out loud in English. It's not a 100% accurate translation, but I'll make sure you guys are able to get the gist of the story. Just information that Pokemon Nocturne is the last of the series, of the Pokemon Zombie series. So if you found me on YouTube recommended, this is the first video I suggest you go watch. Dusk and Dawn from someone like Picaspre or whoever you want to watch. Then uh, you can watch Nightfall for me if you want, or if there's someone else playing it, you can go to them. And then this is the creator's YouTube channel, uh, Mr. Prince Star. This controller up. Oh, I just realized I still have the game muted. Whoops. Oh, hold on. Let me put on my volume mixer. There we go. There's the me. Hopefully, I don't get another copy strike. I should have got two from the other videos, but uh, the two last ones, 12 and 11. But apparently the owner of the music allows it to be on YouTube, so, you know, it doesn't count against me. Hopefully we don't run into one that actually does get, get, uh, gets me a strike. Now, worst case scenario, it's just going to be muted for that section. Okay, so March 25th, 2000. Uh, three days before current events. This happened at the beginning of uh, Nightfall, if you remember. So, we meet again. It's time. Oh, I actually didn't translate this part. Whoops. Uh, well, it's not important. Uh, red? Or would you rather be called champion of the Indigo Plateau? Still sitting on your high horse, huh? I don't blame you. You have done a lot for the world. But now the world is on the brink of collapse, and you haven't even shown your face yet. The world needs talented trainers like you. It's time we did something. Everyone in this world is helping, even my son. Hmm, he probably didn't know about my son. Okay, it doesn't matter. The world is about to come to an end. Red, we have to do something about it, otherwise the undead will take over everything. And then the world will no longer be as you know it, and your title as champ won't be worth anything anymore. Oh, I read ahead a bit, sorry. I know we've had our differences, but that's in the past. My thinking has changed. That's why I'm asking you, help us, help the world, the people, the Pokemon. 
I know that you understand. And that's why I brought someone else to help you. Well, Red, how's it going? Long time no see. As talkative as ever, eh? Then not much has changed in recent years. I'm curious to see what you've been up to, champ. No time for long speeches. You should leave immediately. Well, I'm ready. And how about you, champ? Ready. March 28, 2000. Okay, so I think in the secret ending of Pokemon Nightfall, when near the end of the game where you hear someone knocking, I think it's uh, Drake. And that's why we're like, just skip the head over to this. I didn't get the secret ending, so I didn't really record that, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I know you, we've met before. That's right, to see you again so soon. You stole that total dial from the lab. That was necessary, believe me. And what brings you here now? My father, Giovanni, former boss of Team Rocket, wanted me to fight with you. Or fight alongside with you. He says that we can save humanity only when strong trainers unite. All over the world, groups of trainers are expected to join forces to combat this threat. That's why I'm here, to join you. Although I prefer to do my own thing. So, that's what the former boss of Team Rocket says. Yeah, so he says. Any problem with that? Not at all. How did he meet with your father? First of all, trust Team Rocket, they're responsible for all of this. Annoying as ever, huh? First of all, my father has nothing to do with this. Furthermore, there are more important things than getting a seven about Team Rocket. I guess he's kind of right about that. Well, as I said, I'm here to provide my help. So what's the story? Ethan, what do you think? Let's accept this offer. Ah, in order to make this official, my name is Drake. You probably already knew that, you were able to catch a glimpse of my ID back then. I think before I came in here you were talking about uh, what your next move was. Um, first of all, hello, my name is Krista, and yes, we're, we were going back to Newt Barton. Ah, new bark? No. <laughs> My bad. Ah, new bark town. What's so interesting there? Our parents are there. We will definitely go check that out first. New bark town. This little town. Is it worth it? Hey, you wanted to join us, so you will come with us. Touche. And as I was saying, oh, and as I was hearing out earlier, you guys want to go now? That's how it looks like. Let's go. Say, hey Ethan. Have you ever wondered how you got through the Elix Forest without encountering any infected? Yeah, I've actually wondered about that. I'll tell you some other time. Be careful, Professor Elm has probably already turned into an undead. The poor wretch. I only wish you could have done something for him. So, who's going to kill him? And let's choose Drake because that's the path I translated and because for alligators my favorite starter. If none of you other kids dare kill him, I will. Come on, Croc.
There you are. Sorry, dude, but we have to get you out of the way. Let's go, Croc. And just, it's the same uh, controls from last time. Let's skip over this. Yep. Yep, dodged it. Come on. And here we go again. <laughs> Come on. We would think something as big as Feradigator would be able to one-shot most things, or at least humans. Oops, skipped over that. Now I'm almost sorry that I had to take your Pokemon away from you. But it was for a good cause, just so you know. My silence is broken in between. Uh, this sounds copyrighted. Something in the air that is out of place. It's time for us to solve this murder case. No time to die tonight, we never could have run. All these rotten creatures that come undone. I could have never thought that I would go. This whole thing was just for the show. Well, now that Elm is out of the way, sure do you want to visit your parents. Yes, that's exactly what we had in mind. Well, I have no business being there, so I'm holding the fort. Of course, thanks. Let's go, Brando. I really need to know if my mom is okay. Save. Uh, this one. Uh, which, which is and this is this out? No, it's Christos. I should know this. <laughs> Ethan? Am I dreaming? Mom! You're, you're okay. And no, you're not dreaming. Brando and I are fine. I was so worried about you. I thought I would never see you again, my son. I'm sorry you haven't heard from me in so long. But out there, out there, I had to go through a lot. Do you want to tell me what you experienced? It, it all started when I left the Elix Forest and reached Goldenrod City. I can't believe you've been through so much. How are things going for you now? Now, I will probably never... I, uh, I will probably leave again. The world needs us. If we don't stop this infection, the world will never be a safe place again. Even New Barktown, which has been mostly spared. And you are absolutely sure that you cannot leave to... Leave it to other people? Where's the military? That's that's what I always wonder, like in these like zombie scenarios, where the military at? I am absolutely sure. Oh you. You've always had a man of your own, just like your father. Very well. You've taken such good care of yourself so far. Nothing will happen to you for sure. And you're right, the world needs a brave boy like you. But if I'm honest, I'm reluctant to let you go. You were... Mm. Ah, okay. Uh, oh mom, I will be back, promise. 
please promise me you'll be a careful, okay? Naturally. Before you go, go back to your room. I bought something for you. I wanted to give it to you for your journey as a Pokemon trainer. It's nothing major. It's on top of your table. Wow, thank you very much. Well, let's go uh, to my room, Brando. Wow, it's kind of a strange treating to be here again after such a long time. This is where I spent my last day before picking you up from Professor Elm. I couldn't sleep at all that night. I was so excited. And at the next day, we were off into the big world of Pokemon. I didn't think I would come back here just to make sure my mo my mother was alive. Well, let's see what mom got us. Now Barry. Just the same, Barry heals 5 though. I hmm. Before we leave, I would like to take a quick look at my PC. Hey, it still works. Gotta delete this browser history. <laughs> All clear, let's go. I guess it's time to say goodbye again, huh? We've only just got here. Yes, I know. Please, please promise me you'll be you'll come back safely, okay? Oh, mom, I'm not alone. Brando, Krista, and their Pokemon BB are out there. Just he leaves out Drake. Kind of sad. We will take care of each other. Then. Then I'm reassured. Very well. I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye. Ah. Wait. What? Uh. Goodbye. Good luck, my son. Thanks, and see you soon. So it's time to go see my mom. Where was her house again? Get out of here, I'll stab you. Mom! Oh. Krista. Krista, where have you been? I was worried sick. Why didn't you come to me? Mom, let me settle down first. You scared me half to death. I would be happy to tell you what happened, but please put away the knife. Well, now Ethan, Drake, and I are here to see how you guys are doing. She mentions Drake, but Ethan just left them out of that. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Uh, Professor Elm has turned into an infected, and Drake had to kill him. Krista, I can't believe what has become of you. Those last words were so ice cold, as if killing someone was the most normal thing in the world. Sorry, Mom. Sometimes I like to put emotions uh, to the back burner. That's something Bill taught me, and Bill's a bad influence. The main thing is that you are here again, here with me. You should have never gone on that terrible journey. Now, you can stay here. Oh, Mom. As much as I would like to stay in New Barktown, I, I just can't. Krista, I can't let you go again. Mom, we just wanted to see if everything was still okay in New Barktown. And now, I have to go again. I will first go to my room and take a few things with me. A potion. Oh. I think there was something on my bookshelf that I could put to good use. Hmm, where was it again? Here, I found it. The Pokemon, the, <laughs> the Pokemon, the Pokecom once belonged to my father. When he left us, Mom threw away all, his, all of his belongings. I could only save his Pokecom. 
How fortunate that I still have it. My Pokecom, the telephone module no longer work. That's why I couldn't use it to make phone calls. Even though Bill tried, tried everything to get it working again. Well, Mom? I have to go again then. Krista? No. I won't let you go. I forbid you. You're not allowed to go out anymore. You will die if you do. Stay here. Here with me. Mom, you can't. Krista. I am your mother. You, uh, you stay here. Will you not understand? That this is not about you or me? If I don't go out, this whole world will end out there and everyone will die. And even an untouched location like New Bark Town will no longer be safe. Then you will not have to worry of, of, that I could die. Then it is 100% certain that we will die. And even if I go out there now... And lose my life... This at least gives humanity a small chance to live on, then it is worth it. Enough now, we will say goodbye. Mom? I think she said goodbye mom or something. You two are finally done? I'm good. Yes, yes. Well then, we can leave the desolate place. Hold on. We we forgot something else. What? What about Professor Elm sadly? We may not even know that. Great, that too. Do you want do you still want to play the counselor now? Can something like that wait until later? I have to agree with Drake on this one. However, I imagine his wife is wondering what happened to him. Going out of their house is way too risky. So We'll best tell her what happened. And I think that should be done by the person who did the deed. So you, Drake. Really? Please break it to them gently. Can't promise that. I like to be direct. Recording my words just isn't my style. But you can respectfully mention Professor Elm, Elm and not call him Bum Elm in front of his family. I think that can be arranged. are you? Mom? Oh god. <clears throat> Mom, who is that? My name's Drake and I come on behalf of Pokemon trainers Ethan and Krista. You certainly know these two. Um, yeah. Well, I'll make it short and sweet. Your husband is dead. He turned into an undead and we had to kill him. What? My dad is dead? My husband is dead? That's the only thing I wanted to tell you. Keep the door shut and stay safe. I have to move on now, unfortunately. Ciao. It was easier than I thought. You were gone for just a minute. Are you sure that... Oh, I don't even want to know. That poor family. Had I known that, I would have rather gone in. But going in again now probably isn't going to do them any good. Yes, yes, very sad anyways. I think we have nothing more to lose in this stuff. But I suggest to you discreetly that we move on. Even though I don't like his choice of words, he's right, Ethan. What now? Oh. Since we obviously can't glide over water, how about we make a stop in Sherry Grove City? Good idea. We passed through Sherry Grove earlier, but largely ignore everything there to... to reach New Bark Town faster. Oh, I guess it's decided then. Let's go to Sherry Grove City. But we must be careful. On Route 29, there are still infected that we haven't killed yet. 
They won't be a problem for Pra- uh, for Brando. Croc and I are gonna kill those guys. Vivi and I are not to be underestimated either. And it just tells you the different stats at the point. So I think that's it for today. We're close to 30 minutes. Um, I want to translate a little bit more. So I'll see you then.